So, I know I'm working on a 383, but we're going to put that on hold, because I'm coming to you from the future. This is actually September the... Uh, I don't actually know. 24th, September 24th, 2020. Uh, the vlog that you were watching, if you're keeping up with my stuff, was actually filmed back in January of 2020. So we're going to skip forward to actually, I think, July. The guy that I actually built this next 383 for, this reason I'm skipping ahead in the vlog, is the other guy with the 383 isn't following me on YouTube and not watching my videos. So this guy is, he found me through my videos, had me build a 383 for him. So I'm going to go ahead and jump this ahead of that one and we're going to do this 383 build. So let's get to it. All right, the day has come. I am no longer talking about tearing this motor and that motor down. Today, both of them are being disassembled. Both of them are getting the washer. We're going to start building these things. All right, let's get to that. As you saw on the time lapse, the 350 is no longer there in the floor. It has already been washed actually. I've actually got the block already clean. I'm gonna get it out tomorrow morning. Like we'll bring it up here tomorrow morning. It's already out the washer. But anyways, I got to sit down and I put the build together for this one and went over all the parts and everything like that and just gave the price to the customer and he agreed on it. So we are building this 383 and get some decent little Little upgrades to it. Got a nice comp cam, cam and lifter kit, like everything. It's gonna be retro roller lifters put into it. Yeah, buddy. And some springs. We did the springs, the retainers, the locks, the push rods, the roller lifters for a non-roller block. Why I call it a retro fit, in case you were wondering why I called it a retro roller. Um, and the comp cam itself. I went with the. Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> It is the 12-422-8, which is going to give him a good little rumble at idle. But at the same time, it's not something you can still run the stock converter. And it has an increased vacuum also. So 
So I was like, that sounds like a good one for him who's going to be just a street driver, but give him something when he's sitting at the light that he's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that boogity boogity. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is going to be a fun little build. Uh, Stroker kit, uh, got him a new carburetor. I'm going to do that for him. Upgraded some of his, like, his bolts were terrible. I don't know if you can notice it in the time lapse or not, but one of the head bolts when I broke the torque on it actually snapped off in the block and I had to get it out. You probably noticed that when I took the piper and straight the block. I saw that part. But anyways, nothing to this one. Nothing to this one. We're going to get to work on this. So 90% of it was already here in stock in Greensboro at the warehouse that I use. So I get to pick up a lot of it tomorrow. And he's going to come by and bring me a check for all the parts. And I'm going to go ahead and once I get that and get that deposited, I'll go ahead and order his comp camps. I'm going to order that myself i was able to get it cheaper not through my warehouse so there's that anyways till next time so just happened to be driving on the road and i got to see my first c8 corvette in person <laughs> all right to continue the 383 build we got it out of the washer it's degreased at this point like i just did like a light clean just so i can get it in my machine and it not you know put a bunch of dirt in that <laughs> but I've already measured it. It is standard board, so we are going 30 over. It will be a true 383. Uh, let's see here. I don't think there's much else to say about this other than let's get it in that machine. Whoosh. All right, so let's go get all these parts out of my truck and get them back in here. That way there, we can go through them all. Fish. I don't need to get that block out. seated let's see what we got here let's get everything out of this box so we can see it yeah, move it over here like that all righty i got some vials some more vials <laughs> the bearings some more bearings some more bearings studs rings new head bolts because it seemed like they were in dire need of a replacement. Oh, pistons. Oh, the rods. What is this? We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's just get everything out so we can get this box out the way. Springies. Flywheel. Hey, gaskets. All right, let's get the big box out the way. Whew, now you can't see a single thing on this table. One of the cool heads. I move it right here. Move this right here. There's a lot of stuff. That explains why it costs so much. Alrighty. Let's, now that we've got it all out the box and laid out, what did I do with the, here we go. I need this guy and go down the list with a pen while I keep these little bright ones and just look around and see them immediately. Whew. Make sure we're not missing anything. Kit, rotating assembly. So that's going to be my crank, it's weird that it did it like that. I'll check that off later because the rings should be included in that too, but it's not. Oh yeah, it is. There it is. It says kit, 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 kit. Okay, so it just says kit at the top with the price and then it goes on each one. Yep. Yeah, you'd think I'd never looked at one of these tickets before. <laughs> oh lordy. Anyways, let's go with the rings. Rings, rings, rings. There they are. 2M. 139.30, perfect. So check. Let's, where are we gonna put it at? Cause like I moved stuff over here. At least won't move this one. We'll consider these done. Cause it's not like I can hide the crank and the other cylinder head. I'll just move the cylinder head right here. And that way there, I got a little bit of room over here. And let's move it from here to there. There we go. Stroker 57 with two release. 57 rod. Let's just gonna do this. 
see what rods this kit came with. It said I beam. It didn't really say much after that though. It's a nice new Chevy I beam. Technically a PBM. Let's check external balance. Check. I did not get a balancer. I forgot to order a balancer for this. Jesus. I'll figure that out. King 807. I can't have a balance until I'll get those either. That's gonna be a bummer. 807. King 807 SI. Check. King 557 SI. Check. That's your main and rod bearings. Oh, it's four five seven rods. I was looking at that same five seven rods and thinking that was it. That was the pistons I checked off. So these have been checked. And this has already been opened. Let's look take a gander at it. Probably someone just ordered it and realized they got the wrong thing or something. But let's make sure. Alright. Clips are in there. There they are flipping. All the pins are in here. Everything looks good. But I didn't check the actual pistons themselves, but they're all there. And that's what matters for now. I will check the integrity of them later. 460. That's going to be the heads. Oh, that's going to be the head gaskets. Okay, got gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. you, got you, got you. That makes more sense. That's more expensive than what it originally said, but my book is also old. I need to get a newer book. It's like $3 more now. 30, 460, yes, we got that. So check who is down. So that's the 5009 that I just picked up a second ago. That's the right here. Got that. Check the flex plate is right there. FP 350 L. Yes. 350 yes. Sir. That was also more expensive. I thought the book, like I said, the book's two years old. So <laughs> it was like everything's about three more dollars than what I remember seeing in the book. Aluminum heads. Here's the actual heads. One nine eight two three six three. I got both of them. Check. Aluminum head valve train kit. Number four is this. That's gonna be my exhaust valves. Check. Intake two thousand one hundred six. The PVM three thousand springs. Check. Stamp steel retainers. Five hundred one S. Check. Whew. Yeah, warm and how? Two of five is gonna be the keepers. Yep, valve locks. Check. Let's not put them over here because we said everything has been checked goes over here. So try to keep that the way we're doing things. Uh, five one eight two screws and studs. Check. Guide plates, which is the six zero one. Check. I probably didn't need I've got these in stock, but whatever. Never hurts to have more. PBM 2675 spring locators. 2675 check. And let's see here. The rocker arms. Let's see. 80116 check. Oh, well, that came in the kit too. That's not a bad price for that kit then if it came with the rocker arms too. It's a good discount. Old pump, check. Kit gasket, check. Freeze plug kit, check. And cam bearing, CH8, check. We are good to go. The only thing is I forgot to order a balancer. Jeez. Dumb, dumb. I also need to call and order the cam kit, so I need to do both of those. So let's take a look at what's inside these boxes now. Yeah. There's your new exhaust valves. I'm probably not gonna do this with everything, but I did want to look at the valves, make sure I have what I wanted. It's just a intake valve, but it's brand new. Spranking new. And let's see the rocker arms. Roa Rockus. Yeah, buddy. Bring that little bad boy out. It's gonna be a decent little build. Nothing too extravagant, but at the same time. And the 
Definitely upgraded heads to his stock old school Chevrolet heads. Oh lordy. Wasn't a lot going on with them heads he had on it. These ain't anything extremely fancy. But they're very stock. They're just fine. As long as you don't buy the actual like, head itself and have it already built. Like a lot of these like entry level head type things, I guess is how you would say it. I wouldn't charge trust the hardware that came on them. But yeah, buddy. If I remember correctly, I ordered a 64 cc chamber and it's going, it'll put it right at a 10 to 5 compression ratio is what I'm shooting for on the math. I haven't actually crunched the numbers yet, but with the pistons I bought, the pistons I bought, uh, what am I talking about here? <laughs> the pistons I bought, these heads I bought, the comedic gaskets, the thickness I got from, the math should work out to be a 10 to 5. But anyways, let's actually get to working on something instead of opening boxes. Another vlog has come to an end, which means it's time to smash this like button right here. Click on the share button over here. Share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the vlog. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell. That way there you'll get the notifications and we will talk with you later. Whoosh.